Because I had to really break it. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind chick. Back on your screen with another vlog. It's Sunday. I'm so exhausted. I was up until 2.30 yesterday, waiting for my video to upload. So I really hope that you enjoy that video. I don't wanna keep my computer on overnight since it's been acting up a lot lately. So I figured, let me just stay up, catch up on some YouTubes while my own video uploads. And now I'm so tired, but I need to get my day started. And then I'm gonna go out with my family. So let's get going. As much as I wanna lie in bed for the whole day, I gotta make use out of this Sunday. There's nothing worse than my weekends going by so quickly. And then my week, especially Wednesday, Thursday, going by dinosaur pace. Let's make this week different from the last. If you want to change your life, it starts one day at a time. A good phone. Wow, this is really pretty. I never knew this was in the neighborhood. Do you think that's too far? <laughs> so funny. picture. I love purple. It's so beautiful. Yeah. That was so much fun. It was nice to get some sun with fam. Now I'm gonna eat, cause I'm starving and it's after two. And then I'm gonna do part two of my film session. I don't know why, but I'm craving a pizza for my really late lunch. Have you tried this one before? I saw it. And President's Choice is usually really good. So let's pop it in. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Let me get a, there we go. No point, whoa. <laughs> I don't want to burn myself, but I also don't want to drop the pizza. I zoomed in to read the direction. It only needs to bake for 10 minutes, which is crazy. I guess because it's so thin. I can't wait to try this. Wine is my favorite flavor. What's yours? I also zoomed in on the front and it said product of journey. Germany. Why can't I say the word? What do you mean product of Germany? This pizza came from Germany. President's choice. You getting bougie with it? Da, da, da. Done. Let's see. loves it's monday and for a change i'm in a good mood which usually doesn't happen on a monday but hey i'm gonna make some matcha because when is it not a matcha moment i'm definitely gonna catch some sun during my lunch break it's supposed to be up to 21 degrees i don't know if that's true because my fingers are cold in here but we shall see So I don't get hit during the
Who needs cheese and crackers when you have cheesy crackers? Okay, I'm not gonna eat it just yet because it's gonna be the loudest crunch of life. As soon as I came back, I turned my kettle on because whoa, once the clouds came in, that was it. I should have wore more than this, but I'm gonna have a French toast cardamom tea. Doesn't it sound so bougie? And start to edit the vlog so that I can post it. I don't know if I'll post it at midnight. I might post it at noon tomorrow. We'll see. As I'm just out for an early morning walk before I start my shift. I figured I might as well soak in the sun for a bit and it's so beautiful. It's not hot, which is why I'm wearing the same sweater from yesterday, but it's way better than it was last week. So I want to enjoy as much of it as I can. Quiet up until literally 30 seconds ago. As soon as I set up my camera, well, my phone is my camera, but you know, that started. It's not as bad as it was two weeks ago. Do an updated series because people are still commenting on a video I made like I don't even know how many years ago. And of course, the fridge had to make a cameo. Make a pineapple spinach. I don't know if I'll put mango in there too. Pineapple, pineapple avocado spinach, chia seeds. Ch -ch 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 chia That's flax. I was thinking about making a video, let me know if you're interested in this, on the parallels of blindness and the pandemic. I experienced already losing vision that it's not stressing me out in this really long lockdown we're in. I still can't believe we're like one of the last countries to be on such a strict lockdown. I don't know what Mr. Ford is trying to do, but, oh, Ginger. Let me just chop this up real quick. Oh, ow, ow, ow. The like button. Maybe a like will help this girl get a less broken blender. To mango or not to mango? That is the question. I could draw or I was a graphic designer. Because if I could do either, then I could really show you what I see as a visually impaired person. You probably wouldn't want me to operate these knives. I feel like my aunties taught me how to do this properly in Antigua and I forgot. I was probably just too concerned about eating it. Strawberries. Hey, good thing I didn't buy any yesterday. I was about to with the pineapple. I think I showed you in the shot, but when I really look close to the package, I'm like, is that is that mold? No, thank you. Return to sender. A world where all the fruit that was about to go bad, but not moldy, not rotten, got donated to people in need. This fell out of here and it hit back here and look, I'm not even mad though because it's just glassware at the end of the day. I mean, it was expensive glassware, but it happens. Oh my gosh. You know how hazard it is for a visually impaired person to clean glass? This is a mess. My vlog is rendering, it's 5.42. I'm gonna eat a little bit of that cookie because I'm craving something sweet before I go. Look, my plants have taken over my apartment. I just have them all sprawled out trying to soak up as much sun. I guess I can switch these for sunglasses now because I'm gonna head all the way to Yorkdale because I had curbside ordered those glasses. I mean, the bright side is I ordered two, which I should have ordered from Jump. When I have people over, I usually give them that the glass, give them that glass because that's the fancy glass. But you know what? It's nice to have two. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just kind of weirded out because the inside of the mall is closed and Crate and Barrel's in the middle middle. So it's gonna be an interesting fiasco. Should I eat the other half or should I try this one? Or should I eat neither? I don't have to cook tonight. I have three meals I can choose from. Oh, this cookie's kind of tough. Okay, I see. I'm so excited. Well, before I cut it, it was really pretty. But I think I showed you guys. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clearly, my fridge and my computer are competing for the championships of decibels up in here. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going the right way. Usually I cut through the bridge, so I'm kind of confused, but 
I seen the Yorkdale sign back there, so I'm pretty sure. <sighs> well, at least it's a nice day. It looks like I'm in the right place. I mean, this is the first entry I found. Uh, I found it. Isn't their store so pretty? The guy that picked up was not in the mood to pick up. <laughs> While we're talking about the topic, I might as well add that a lot of people in Toronto come into stores for retail therapy, meaning that they're in a bad mood to begin with, and then they just shit all over you. It would not take. Especially when I worked at Zara, you could not give me any look of attitude because I threw it right back at you. but it came in such a big box. It says Apple Express when I zoomed in. I don't know what that is because I don't order anything from Apple. If I'm guessing right, this is the thing that I mentioned at the top of the last vlog, the one I just uploaded, which I hope you like because it's the longest vlog I've made to date. Yes, it is. Whoa, this is big. That's good because it was not cheap. Okay, so this is a, excuse me, bag box. Don't come with me. This is a black owned company called Renew Hair Co. I DM'd Oh, this already smells like heaven. Sorry, commercial break, because I wanted to wear sweatpants so I could sit in my bed. You know me, not with the outdoor clothes. So why can't I open this? The story behind this is I ordered this, I want to say two, three weeks ago. But with DHL, you never know. Sometimes things arrive overnight, literally. The leggings I showed you in the last vlog, 24 hours to the time I ordered it, it was at my doorstep. How do they do that? From LA. Meanwhile, I guess because it was a pre-ordered item, the skims I showed you, I had ordered that, I want to say 25 days before. So here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This already smells so good. Yes. I don't know what kind of sources she puts in here. Of course, I want to do a full review before, of course, I tell you that it's good or not. So I mean, it's funny because I just got an email today from a company who wants to send me a product like this. And I'm like, you couldn't have done that like 10 days before. But I mean, the whole point was to support my peeps. I've been complaining for weeks and weeks and weeks about my hair shedding and falling and just being stringy. This is my solution. Everything looked pretty legit on her Facebook page. I read things on her Instagram. I DM'd and she responded right away. She did lives as well. I'm probably gonna use half the bottle just on the patch over here. I see more growth here than you know. But then once that happens, I'm gonna start to massage it all over my hair because like, why did I do this? Why did I cut this piece? It doesn't work, I'll let you know. And I might just do PRP shots because one of my friends said she tried that and it was really good. I just don't wanna be putting needles up in my head unless it's the last resort. Anyway, so the thing I actually was gonna show you, um, ba -da -bum. I love that came in a box because the last time I bought it, it did not. Did they tape this? I had these glasses and maybe like one other thing. There isn't a single thing in my house. My couch, my couch is full price. Everything else that I own, well, also their Ikea stuff because they never have sales. But all of my decor, anything you've ever seen me show you, even clothing wise, I never buy anything full price. I always get at least 20% off, sometimes up to 50 because full price is never really the real price. It's essential oils, everything. That was a two hour adventure. I'm not mad at it though. I haven't been in that neighborhood, I wanna say in six, Maybe even more than six months because I haven't gone this year. That's the first time. I can't believe it's June 1st. Where's time gone? Cheers. There's literally no one in here, but someone took down this clock. Remember I told you the clock was wrong last week? How am I supposed to reach up here? Hello? I put on this sweater because the last time I wore this set, in last week's vlog, you saw I was freezing so much that I had to go home and grab a sweater. And what do you know, this week, it says the same temperature, but it's actually, it feels like what it says. I woke up this morning at 6.30, and then I went back to sleep because I was just like, I don't need to be up this early. I've been doing that a lot lately. And when I'm not doing that, waking up super early and then sleeping in past my alarm, I'm snoozing like a fiend. And I never used to be that person. I used to be such a morning person, like wake up before my alarm, 
eager to get on with the day. Even if there was nothing going on, I just had that hope for a new day. And I don't know what's happened. I was trying to think on my walk to work. When's the last time I was like excited to get up or at least got up the first time or within five minutes, not an hour later. And I think it would have been August. September I started this habit and I thought it was just because it's the fall and I was getting back from work but whoa, there's a lot of emails yikes <laughs> it still takes me a good hour and a half to get out of bed once I'm out I'm okay so it's the weirdest thing of life because I never used to be that way and I knew people like a couple years ago that would be like that like snooze 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 and then groggy like how are you like that because once I'm up I'm up and it's stuck but now Mm. I don't know. I don't know, but I gotta figure it out because I don't like waking up and not feeling grateful for another day. I'm kind of like, oh my God. How much worse vision do I have today? What do I have to get done today that I don't even wanna do? You know, that's how I feel. <sighs> so we gotta figure that out because I believe that energy follows me throughout the entire day. And that's probably why I sound so monotone. Like, if you think I sound monotone in the vlogs, you should hear me talk to my friends. Like, they're used to it, so they know that I'm not in the mood or bored or whatever, but I need to start being more cheery and bubbly. Effeminate, is that the word? I think it is. Effervescent. The label and the packaging is so beautiful. So, I came up to drop off something, and as I was coming here, a guy approached me, and I'm just like, oh no, here we go. But he was really, really nice, and his voice was kind of like Cat Williams, so I couldn't help. Like I didn't laugh at him. Just some people have that voice. They should be a comedian. So he comes up to me and he's like, hey, I've never seen a girl wear this color as beautiful as you do. And I'm like, oh, thanks. And he's like, what is it, an aqua? I'm like, yeah. I mean, it's more mint than aqua, but I'm not gonna correct him. It's not that serious. Oh, I'm just applying this here. I wanna see from today until the 30th how much changes there are. So I'm gonna take a picture. And hopefully we can see the growth and then I can apply the rest of the bottle everywhere else. But I just want to see how effective it is in my bald spot. I'm not balding, but ever since I was a kid, I always got side braids here and it just pulled away at my edges. So I don't know if this is past the point of no return or if this can help recoup it, but we shall see. I want to be able to wear my hair slick back with the long braid. I really like that trend, which is so funny because growing up as a kid, all my mom did was put my hair in one every single day for like five years and I hated it. The kids would say, oh, there's a dick in your head. Kids are vicious, eh? And I was so self-conscious because I was in what, grade three, four, five, six, that I was so over it. So anytime I got the straight backs, the cornrow designs, I just felt like it was so much better. Even though I didn't like the braid and I didn't like the process because yo, my mom's friend that used to braid my hair did it tight, tight, which is why, figure one. Next stop. Feels so much more open. I think I'm gonna try to do another practice when I get home just to see how much that helped. And I'll be back here in three weeks to do some more physio because apparently I still need a few more sessions. But we've come a long way from when I first came, what, two months ago? It smells like french fries and now I'm craving. Do you ever have those moments when you smell something and now you want to eat it? That's the type of time I'm on. Except I have so much meal prep that it doesn't make sense that I have french fries tonight. I wish I was half as bubbly as this chick. That energy is everything. Okay, I need a shower. Ooh, I'm so excited. It smells like a movie theater. Oh, movie theater is another thing that the Rona took away. Okay, don't need that much. I should have saved the wine yesterday. This would have been perfect. Oh well. Shiver me timbers. It hasn't even begun yet and I already feel intense. Oh wow, I love me a foggy day. I thought it was a migraine. Yes, that migraine, I don't know what it is. I'm waiting on it. Why are they taking so long? Yeah. Have a good day and be careful now, okay? Of course, great grandma. I'm going to be careful for sure. All right, dear. God bless. Yes, you too. Please take care. Okay, love you. Love you too, great grandma. Okay, dear. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 
I'm going to make a Starbucks inspired drink. I hope this is enough room. Take my coffee, my espresso, which I always make. I was all the way over here and the camera's facing over there. But what I was saying is, I wish there was a way for someone to tell me 10 years ago that I'd be seeing the way that I'm seeing today. Cause I think I would have made, no, I don't think, I know I would have made a lot of different decisions. I would have traveled more. I would have worked different places. I would have dated more. I wouldn't have bought as much clothes or nail polish. The fact that I have 150 nail polishes here in my unit and I can't see my digits, so stupid. Hi. Unmute. Hey, how are you? <laughs> good, good, good. Nice to see you guys. Kind of a shitty Thursday. The weather is like so gloomy. I just want to sleep, but <laughs> here we are. How's everybody's week so far? Good. Going well. Good, right? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. The province has announced that they're not ready to actually start reopening. They've announced that they're basically going back into the emergency break. I want to do the pulled back long braid look. First, I need to order some braiding hair to do that because I threw out my braiding hair for the less is more challenge. Every day I realize there's something I threw away from February that I'm like, I kind of need it now. But, and I'm not a minimalist. I just wanted to try something different. <sighs> I'm over here because something told me just to check my status of this computer, don't ask. I thought that this was 24 inches and they released a 27 inch one, but then I didn't realize that past Alicia already anticipated that my vision would get this bad and ordered the biggest Mac that they have because clearly five, six years ago, I ordered, this is 27 inches. It doesn't feel like it anymore. I remember the day I bought this computer, I was like, wow, it's so huge. Cause I had been using a 14 inch MacBook for so long, but now I need a computer that's like from here to here so I can zoom in all the way up. Oof. I just wish I had a magic ball to see how bad I would see in the future to prepare for it all, you know? I make reels. I didn't even follow the recipe, which says that you're supposed to boil this, not shake it, but whatever. So, there. Let's see if that looks even. Yeah, that's centered. Out. And I'm not even on a high floor, so I don't know how long I'm gonna last out here. I'm gonna eat this pizza, even though it smells kind of weird. We'll see how it tastes. Go back Again, if this is too much on your knee, inch that left foot back behind. I don't know what this man's doing. Five second warning, some nasty ish I'm about to show you. Look how much I lost today. I can't keep doing this. Like, at this rate, I'm gonna have no hair by the end of the week. Sugar syrup from yesterday, I tried to cheat coat it by just shaking it in an amazing jar. Mm -mm, that didn't work, so we're gonna measure it. Oh, wait, where's my measuring cup? Oh, I was looking right at it. It's over here all along. I need a quarter cup. Of course, I'm wearing the neons to bring in the summer. Someone's gotta do the summer dance, but it's overcast, so my bright colors aren't really helping the cause. I think that's good enough. There we go. This phone stand has spoiled me so much. I'm not used to holding my phone anymore. It's so much easier to vlog and talk to you like this anyway. So I'm just gonna make a syrup. Touch, just a touch. Remember that song from Amarion? Cafe. Let me just do, well. Hello. Oh, also almond milk? No, no, it's supposed to be oat milk. What's going on? I know that's right. <laughs> that catchphrase kills me every time. Ooh, slow motion from me. Okay, maybe not. Okay, is that it? All of that for half a cup, really? Not as foamy as I'd hoped, but that's okay. It's supposed to be this milky. <sighs> Tomorrow's another day. Yo, I don't know what was it. I mean, I do know what was in it. I made it, but this is so next level. I don't know if it was the brown sugar or because I had more espresso than I've had in my entire life, but I am wired, which is good because work ends in an hour. I can't believe it's two already. Like, where'd the time go? Oh, I never mentioned to you. So starting this week, I work half an hour earlier, which is good because you know, I've been struggling to wake up. So this forces me to get out of my bed and be productive. And then I get to 
leave we'll finish work because there's no leaving i'm home at three o'clock on fridays at first i was like mm, you can keep that because for me to have to wake up earlier to have two hours off earlier does that make sense you know what i'm trying to say on fridays i was kind of like and don't mind the mess i'm gonna make the guacamole in a second i was kind of like mm, you know what no but then i was like if it's an option for me to tack on the half an hour each day Monday to Thursday in the morning versus the evening because that's what it said in the email then I'll do that because that's a two for one I'd rather start working earlier get my booty out of bed earlier and then I still get to have the whole Friday ending at three instead of five thing that my colleagues co-workers and other departments have so I'm so psyched even though I don't have no plans tonight oh wait I do at three o'clock there's a live with Bri she's one of my favorite vlog no she's not a vlogger see i'm wired she's one of my favorite youtubers no she's not a youtuber <laughs> see what is she's my favorite yoga teacher why was that so hard and i want to do a little bit of her live i probably won't do the full 60 minutes because i already did a sash this morning as you saw but i'm sure they won't mind if i tap in for like half an hour and just see what this live's about so i'm gonna have to switch back into yoga gear and maybe even have maybe even have another shower because you know how i am about the i don't like sitting in my sweat so i might shower and then go out for a walk imagine off i'll be done that by like what 3 30 3 45 and then i can go venture out especially since it was supposed to thunderstorm today and hey weather network was so wrong i mean I don't know about the weather network app for your city, but in Toronto, nine times out of 10, they weigh off. Sometimes it says it's thunderstorming and then it looks like this outside. I'm like, where did they do that at? Goodbye, farewell. This cha 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 cha. I spent the morning listening, which is probably not useful because you probably need to watch to see the quality, but I was listening to some video reviews on vlog cameras and there's the sony a6400 the zax or zv bleh, whatever it's another sony camera that i'm like oh wait these cameras have gotten more expensive since the last time i bought one the 90d which apparently can be used for vlogging because the image stabilizer is better than my 70d which i would hope so since the 70d is what six are you kidding me you know how long my computer <laughs> it's gonna take a while to have to restart my remote desktop which is gonna waste time and which means i'm probably gonna be online longer than i want to be i don't know if the sony was my very first point and shoot i mean no my dad bought me a i think it was a panasonic lumix and then after that he bought me a joy cam do you remember that and then after that he got me an iZone, which is also like a full array camera and then after that that's where i took off where he left off i got my first digital camera which i think was the sony white one with the flip up it was pretty sick like i wish that they would redo something like that but it was pretty much like a point and shoot and then i had a canon power shot that my ex first boyfriend bought me the one that didn't believe in my youtube channel but he knew i like taking pictures so he bought it anyway and then i also had a purple power shot after that one because that one broke at a staff party someone bumped into me and i was taking a picture the lens fell on an angle and nothing was the same so i bought a purple camera which i think would have been the second youtube camera i used because i don't think the sony one i ever make videos with i think i just took pictures for facebook when fix facebook was bought in because i was that girl literally this would be a facebook post so cameras i've gone through six or seven youtube cameras which isn't bad for a decade of making videos Yeah. 
get to uh, always want to try, right? A little bend in your knee. And it's done. And use it as it goes along. So it just have tips and ideas to the fans end that you can do the same thing. You know, we live in this farm country, you have to know how to learn to save money and you know need to help your family back home. Why do Caribbeans have to be like that? They can't just do a straight through tutorial. There's always gotta be a lesson in the mix. I tell you, all of my family members are like that, but I don't know if I'm biased or what, but the Caribbean accent is my favorite. I'm not trying to waste a lot of food and waste a lot of things, so. <laughs> when you empty out your bag from last summer and you realize your birth control prescription was in there, well, I wanted it because they said it would help with the cramps, but then I didn't because it's unnatural. I mean, if you're a woman, you know how that goes. If you're not, thank your lucky stars you don't. So let's pack this up. This bag is big enough because I'm going to go stop by and get some toothpaste because I am not fighting with that tube tonight. That's all I'm saying. The thing I've been noticing on my walk is a lot of the places that were closed for the last year and a half seem to be coming soon in a different form. So one of the things I saw was a lighting store. The other was a Canada's largest tea and coffee store. Seems like it's a lot more lifestyle, a lot less clothing and niche kind of stuff. It's 11 a.m. I'm having a really late breakfast. I did my yoga sesh. I think I'll include the clip. I don't know how much yoga I'm gonna include in this vlog since I'm gonna make an entire yoga video. So stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna have my waffle with some blueberries. Cause I just feel like eggos are so basic. You need to spruce them up a little bit, add some toppings. And then my espresso should be whoop, just about done. It's probably out of the frame, so you can't see that it's bubbling over. But I'm gonna try third time's a trick, right? Or a charm. What's the saying? I'm, I think it's third time a charm. Third time's a charm, there we go. I had to say that three times, so I, it really is a charm. I'm going to not burn myself with this. <laughs> and we're gonna try again. It shouldn't be this hard to make. It's a wrap and the fridge hasn't turned on yet. I'm so shocked about that. Okay, as you can see, quick outfit change. Can you see the shorts? Are they looking like underwear? Because I could have just worn underwear, but I want it to be more coverage. Okay, so I got a pack of this, 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 some sunscreen that I take off my face because I'm not trying to have my foundation cook on my skin. I'm gonna go hopefully to the beach for a bit. Although my friend messaged me at 8 a.m. It's now two o'clock. I mean, that's pretty good timing for filming and setting up and all of that. But, 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 since they are on the island, it's gonna take me some time to get there. And I still have to go out tonight. So I gotta plan this right. I don't want this bikini. And, oh, put this away. Oh, my tag is out. If I was better prepared, I would have grabbed fruit yesterday. Nothing like a beach day with some watermelon. And I need water, at least that. Maybe I'll pack some grapes, because I have a lot of those. God, if you saw this line for the water tax, I can't believe it. I heard some guys ahead of me saying it's about an hour long. Isn't that crazy? It's been over an hour. We made it! Two hours later and I wish I was capping but it actually took an hour and 45. And then to top it, there's three ferries and I was in the line for Center Island when I was trying to get to Hanlin. So I had to wait for a next ferry to come. 
but we're on the other side. It's so peaceful. I haven't been here in three years. The last time I was here, I rollerbladed. I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that nowadays, but I'm gonna head to the beach. Where's David? He said he'd meet me here if I kept right, but I know that way's the beach. That's so cute. <laughs> it's so pretty here. Finally made it. You don't understand how happy I am. And I don't know if you can see David in the water there. <sighs> gonna be against the night. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they can see. You, you think so? If they're making out, they can't. Oh my gosh, the line to go back is... Both of them are insane. Uh, this one is like... Okay. The I can't stop yawning guys yes my outfit changed it's a lot to explain and it's too late in the night to do that so I'm just gonna wrap the vlog up here and I might explain tomorrow but for now I'm just gonna thank you for tuning in for another week with me if you enjoyed you know what to do tap that like subscribe share all that stuff to show you care and until next week stay safe stay sane stay blessed how much of my hair is a mess <laughs> love and later